ultimate goal in taking care of our members and what the talent development group at ERA is here to offer is to be a true extension of their talent development department. So whether you have one person or a team, we want you to view us as your true extension that's going to give our small and medium sized business members all the same access and all the same supports that a Fortune 100 company has within their talent development organization. We want to be that true partner. Some of the immediate changes that I made within my first six months of joining ERA surrounded how we deliver and what we deliver. So we're focusing on delivering in person and virtually, but you can't deliver the same content the same way over two different mediums. So we've really looked at restructuring how we deliver content virtually to meet the focus and what we know about best practices for how adults learn in that environment. We also implemented a learning management system and we're looking at rolling out new services around organizational development offerings such as new employee orientation support for organizations and what that first year of onboarding looks like, culture programming and how to change your culture. So first understanding what your culture is and then how to grow and develop that culture. We're looking at train the trainers and instruct instructional design offerings. So something that we didn't offer before, but now it is a new service that we're rolling out for our members, as well as organization-wide change management. So with our classic courses, we've really spent time while I'm here overhauling all of them and bringing new offerings for leadership next year in terms of scaling it to the level of leadership you're at or career pathing towards. So there's going to be brand new programming we've never offered before, as well as overhauling existing programming to get it up to speed with modern focuses and traditional talent development areas within leadership leadership that some of it was behind on. So really updating and revamping that content. So there's going to be all new stuff next year, all the way from foundations of leadership through to an executive development program. So we're really excited about the new public offerings. And then we're revamping our HR supports as well. So the Institute for HR Mastery is going to be structured in similar areas that HR professionals are used to around administrative supports, operational supports, and strategic supports. So keep your eyes peeled because more stuff's going to be coming for our Institute for HR Mastery, just like all of our new content for leadership and team building as well. Talent development plays a big role in helping organizations engage, attract new employees, and retain them, especially in this coming out of COVID world, because organizations are having to start getting creative in what they do and who they recruit and who the recruiting pool is. And then if I'm recruiting people in different lights that have different backgrounds and different experiences, we need to really start focusing on how to bring them into our organization, get them hooked right away, and then recognize all the different ways an organization's not only going to develop and support them in the career that they came in for, but the career pathing opportunities. Career pathing as a concept is not new. Career pathing has always been viewed as linear, right? I go up a ladder. And really now organizations are needing to shift their mindset to career pathing being all of the other opportunities within my organization and how can I help get folks ready to move over, move up, maybe even move down into an entry level role within an entirely different department because they want to shift their career over there. Talent development is going to be pivotal in all of that to create an environment where employees are supported and taught and can do that.